How would you like to be right here, right now, enjoying this beautiful sight? Well, there's only one way to do it. Well, I started Trailblazers Kentucky Adventures because of my passion for trail riding. I'd get out in the hills of Kentucky on my Suzuki DR350, see these beautiful vistas, and think, everyone should see this beauty. So that's how the idea of Trailblazers was born, and the fact that I was in video production as a profession. There's nothing like the freedom from the grunt and grind of today's society like throwing your leg over a dirt bike and experiencing the excitement, beauty, and friendship of people you meet on the trail. People these days with all the electronic gadgets seem to just sit around too much. I would like to inspire people to get out and enjoy nature. And for me, there's no better way than on a motorcycle. I ride for the pure enjoyment. I really don't care how fast someone can go down a trail or who can climb the biggest hill, although I like watching other people push the envelope. I just love the camaraderie experience when you ride with a group of people. You make some great friendships out there on the trail. Meeting new people and building relationships is my favorite thing about trail riding. I also enjoy seeing the culture of off-road riding, which is as diverse as the nationalities in the U.S. I met some pretty interesting people on my adventures and heard some great stories at the same time. Stories I love sharing with everyone. I don't know what it was. We shot down the top of Cedar Probably Creek. They finally came down and whooped every dog we had. He, he whooped every dog we had uh, toward their years off. Man, oh man. Them old dogs. Trailblazers has taken many paths to getting the word out about the enjoyment of riding. I visited two off-road parks and even produced a commercial for one of them and a promo for another. So what do you think about Horseshoe Bend? It's awesome. Yeah. Last week we were here all day. Come on out and have a good old time in the woods. I like Horseshoe Bend. I want families to enjoy time together by visiting these places, as well as supporting their local economy. On two of my adventures, I searched out and found the famous Turtle Man. Yee! Yee! Live action! Live action! <laughs> Sunday night, 9 o'clock! and had a great visit with him and Lolly Dog. Mm, thank you. He told me some great stories and was one of the most genuine people you'll ever meet. Mm, and a good girl. I also found his partner, hey. Neil James. <laughs> Hi there, you two. I spent a whole day with Neil. We ate, played music, and learned some Stanford, Kentucky history. The way that they talked about the North. As far as we know, nobody had any actual pictures. So from what they gathered, they're trying to recreate the Stanford standing for I say. I'm 58 years old. I've been working in video production for 34 years and just got tired of the day in, day out of the bureaucratic world. And I have somewhat of an edge to me, so trail riding allows me to be me. My riding was inspired by my dad, who was also somewhat of a rebel. He rode a four wheeler with me until he was 79, but had an accident and decided to throw an attack. But I certainly know where I get my rough edges from. The toughest man I know, my pops. I've been stupid in my time by not wearing protective gear. But as age has crept up on me, and after a few crashes without any protection, I've learned the value of protective gear and safety consciousness. I really want to promote safety while enjoying the ride. I take adventures on both my Suzukis. My DR350 is mainly for hard trail riding and very difficult terrain, whereas my Suzuki DR650 is used mainly for gravel roads and casual trails, although I have had it in some pretty hairy places. There's something freeing about riding a motorcycle, just you and a machine that you are in control of, to feel that power beneath you is exhilarating. I've always thought the best approach for trailblazers is to include the general public. Everyone wants to see themselves on camera. So my first idea was to just go knock on somebody's door and ask them to take me for a ride. I noticed you have a four-wheeler out there. I was wondering if you would like to take us for a ride. Subsequent ideas were to promote good causes, such as a wounded warrior benefit ride, or a poker run for a girl with cancer. Another good cause I promoted 
was the rebuilding of Fort Logan in Stanford, Kentucky. I feel we should all try to give back in life. One of the greatest things about Trailblazers Adventures is that you get to learn where all the cool trails are. This brings more people into certain communities where they spend more money at restaurants, stores, and gas stations. It's just good for the local economy. My hopes for Trailblazers Kentucky Adventures is to get the show on TV and share the wonders of the outdoors, experience the excitement of off-road riding, and to meet and feature new and interesting people in this great nation of ours. And man, are there some great stories out there. Well, I hope to see each and every one of you on Trailblazers. Well, it's been a really beautiful day. I decided to just take a break and enjoy what God has given me today. The birds are singing, the water is running, and I got here on my bike. What more could a man want? Thanks for riding with me today. See you next time on Trailblazers.